Hey. All right. So I claimed that we were almost done. I even marked some things here as done, like the API endpoint yeah. server. Turned out we were wrong. Yeah, let's see. If I run this, it tells me that I was expecting a 204, but got a 200, because 200 is the default, yeah. right? We actually have to change that. So we have to say context, so, status, so, yeah. and say 204. We can go now. Run, go to postman, and now we have a test that yeah. passes. That works. Can you do a get request? Yes, of course. Okay. Seven is no it's longer not there. there. Can you do the delete again? What do you expect to happen? Because seven doesn't exist in the database any longer. See, the correct behavior is it gives us a 404 or like a 501. I don't even care if the server crashes, but. No, yeah, 500 just... never. <laughs> <laughs> never in the 500s because 500s mean the server went wrong. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, like just But the so four, a 400 would be, uh, I mean, in I the can, 400s, yeah, a 404. Fine. Something not found is fair. Yeah, a 404 would be better. Yeah, but that's not what's happening though. Yeah, so it's always saying two. That means it's always working. Yeah. It pretends, well, it's always it's deleting something. It's pretending to work, basically. It's pretending to work. Well, to be fair, it is deleting something from the database, except that the it's thing is no longer there. Yeah. But it's fair. It's a fair thing to want. So here we want the number seven, or really, I maybe we want a number that will never be in the database. Like seven won't be there again. It won't be there again. Fair. So we want this to be now a four hundred four. Yes. I change this to four hundred four and send. So yeah, you, we got a four hundred four. We didn't get a 404. So yeah. here we can leverage this execute update so to, do to the see right how it actually works. So I'm going to hit F1 and we can see, see the documentation. The document, yeah. It says that we returns the row count for uh, the delete, data manipulation. Yeah, like and delete. a data manipulation is, for instance, yep. a delete. So it will return an integer, which is the number of rows in the database that, that were affected. Yeah, that's so good. If we get one, it means that we deleted yeah. something. If so we get zero, you need to send a 404. I need to send a 404 because we didn't delete anything. Yeah. So I can say if execute update equals zero, then the status is 204. No, 404, man. Oh, sorry. My <laughs> bad. Else. Else, the status is a 204. Yeah. Or the other way around, I can put I mean, different yeah, here I mean, or whatever. Okay. The point is that I am now checking whether I deleted something. Yeah. And then we rerun the server, go to Postman, and we get a 404. Yeah. But let's see if we return, uh, if we try to delete the number two, for instance, if that exists in the database. It does, right? Yes. Yeah. So if we try to delete the two, then we should get a 204, yeah. okay. which That's makes good. this test fail. Yeah. I want to write better tests for this guy. Yeah. I don't want to hard code the numbers here. Yep. I want to create I an item know, yeah. and have the item I identifier item, yeah. show up here. Looks like we're doing pre-request scripts again. Yes, and we already have a pre-request script to yep. create an item, it's the one from the get request. So yeah. this creates an item. But now I want to get a hold of the identifier for yeah. this item. How do I do that? Some form of a get request. Yes, so we can do a send request for this URL without the post method, and we get back the identifiers. Yeah. We do a trick similar to this when testing post, right? We yep. send these requests and, and, yeah. and we get some data back. So I can copy, oops, I can copy this part of the code here. And then we are getting the identifiers. In reverse, that is okay, so you just need the top one. I just need the top one, which is this. Yes. Right. So maybe we could do something even simpler and just say, get the JSON, nah, get nah. the last one, okay. and get the identifier for that last one. Yeah, okay, this gets yeah. us the identifier, which yeah. is probably a cleaner way of writing. Oh, the much whole cleaner. Thing. Then we want to set this as a variable for Postman to yeah. know. And there is something in Postman to set variables. Is there a snippet for this? Let's see. Set yeah, an environment yeah. variable. Awesome. So here we can say PM environment set 
and I can say like identifier or even better ident item yeah. identifier. Yeah. Now suppose there are multiple identifiers for multiple then, entities yeah. in the system. And the variable value will be this. And that. this. Okay. I think this will work. <laughs> and then, no, then how do we use this? Exactly. Well, we can say item identifier and this double uh, exactly. braces, this double braces mean go to fetch an environment variable yeah. that was set here. And it's not recognizing this because it have not run it yet. Yeah, we have not run the pre request. But if we run it, then we get something. What do we get? We got 204, which means it was deleted. Awesome. We found something and deleted. Yeah. So how do we even see that this is kind of working? Well, we can see, I guess, the response from get because... No, you won't. No, hang on. We will be able to see something here. So here we have the last item is the item 21. Okay. Now we'll run this request. Which We'll create and delete the item 22, right? Yeah. So now we'll see the item 22 being gone, but the item 23 is yeah, there. Fair, yeah. So this indir indirectly, we are seeing that this <laughs> is working fine. So we can change this test to be a 204 mm, yes. and this to be a 204. Also, we can test that if we give it an identifier that doesn't exist, exactly. it will return yeah. a 404. Exactly. So we can write another test for a 404. But in you this case, check, yeah. we need to send a request. Yeah that will look something like this to the URL items. And let's put an outrageous number here. Yeah, that will never happen. Hopefully never happen. And then we do something with the response, which expects er and response. So er and response and a block of code in which we expect the response to have status 404. Yeah. Now we are testing both a successful request and an unsuccessful one. And a, uh, an unsuccessful one. So we are testing the whole thing yeah. right now. This And everything is the, passing, uh, but uh, there is uh, some uh, error. Uh, oh, you have to run it again. Um, red property of undefined. Well, what is wrong with that? Oh, I have to say PM, PM you had that. Yeah. yeah, previously I had PM response. That would be the response of this main request, yeah. but I want this response, so now yeah. I have to use PM expect to have. Skip I'm again, send, oh boy, what now? Um, but got a 500? Huh? That means our server is doing something wrong. Oh, it is. Eat what you kill? <laughs> I swear to God, what oh are they man! Doing? From input string. Oh, it's no, it's, it's too big to be an int. Oh, SQL has SQLite has a problem with the number. I don't think it's SQLite that is complaining. Or it appears Java, that yeah, because you have parse int. Oh boy! Oh boy! Okay, so maybe not that outrageous. Okay, yeah, that is fine. Six fair, five, sand, something, something. passing, happy. Okay, yeah. now. I, what was the number? I think it's like 65,000 something that you can run. I, I used to have all this at the tip of my finger and just like out of my head now. Okay, yeah, that, that seems better. Also, I guess we could write a test to check that we really deleted the item, right? To see if the, so the last identifier is actually plus two. No, then you have to, okay. So how you do this is you send a get request. And check that the item identifier is no longer there because the business of making sure that this will create an item that is another test from another item yeah. from another yeah, yeah, yeah. request right yes, it's yes. another test it yes. lives here so we can suppose that this will work okay. so if i get here in the test you just check if the item identifier is not there at all exactly okay. so let's see here we have a test for yeah we have a test for this that is going to the server, getting items and everything, so we can test the identifier. So we can test that the item Does not is agree. deleted. Yeah. And we said we send a request to get the items. In the response, 
we reverse blah 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 no we don't no, need to do that need, like you need to find the one number yeah and here i can just check that the identifier is not there so first i, I need to get a hold of the identifier right yeah so the same way that we had a way to set an environment you variable can just do i can get, get yeah. i suppose so let's see if there so is a snippet to, yeah get a global variable. get an environment variable. sorry and this is the item, item identifier. identifier that's all you want and now uh yeah i need to find a uh, find or to not find an element yeah. in the set. so if you find it you can yeah, I don't know how to say this, but if you basically, I'd say if you find it, you break out of the loop, but that's not the case here. Yeah. I'm sure it returns minus one if it doesn't find it. Let's see. Maybe there is something in Chai to assert something. Um, not in. Find. Uh, not. Not throw. To not have, to not. Nested on any, any, any is interesting. Do not oh, have that's any. keys. Yes. A include include. That's also interesting. Expect blah 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 to include the number two. So we can say to not include the identifier. So we had that map before that I sort of deleted, but I want back. So I want to from the JSON I get Delete all the, the okay. identifiers yeah. and I expect. PM expect plot to not include yeah. this. Yeah. Um, these are going to be numbers, and I don't know how PM environment works, <laughs> but it might turn this into a string. And I don't know how coercion will work. So I'll so just that, make sure that this is a string. And I remember how to turn in, in JavaScript, how to turn strings into numbers. How to turn a string into numbers. So a parse int may work. So parse int yeah. this whole thing. Uh, you wrote in a e. Yeah. Fair? Yeah. Okay, this is a long line, so I expect this to not include that. Okay. Let's see if this passes, and it does. Okay. All right. That's what we want, yeah. So with that, I think I wrote all the tests I wanted for yes. this guy. We yeah. we beat this one to death. <laughs> yeah. Okay. With that, let's go to Postman export this. Uh, that is tedious. Oh, uh, it's similar to saving things in yeah, other that's programming right. languages or in other tools. Okay, let's see what we changed. Well, first of all, let's go to a branch. <laughs> so this is create item. Yeah. Uh, no, mark item as done. Yeah. Not create item. So commit. Yeah. And what have we changed? We have changed that is fine. the tests and server. samples and everything in Postman. We have changed things in what server. Resource? And we have changed, of course, oh, right. yeah. the HTML to show that. all that. So mark items as done, commit and push, go to GitHub. I said we would do this off camera because people were tired of seeing us doing this, but then we had more things to yeah, do. So, so we didn't do it off camera and we are doing that right now. So compare yes. and pull requests. And this time, I think I should let the tests so, run. Yeah, because we're not sure this time. Really. Yeah, I know that everything passed on my machine, yeah, but, but we can never yeah. tell. So we'll so wait for this. Just, yeah, I'd say just scroll up. Uh, sorry, scroll down, my bad. And just say addresses, issue, whatever number. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I can even edit this and say closes the issue 16. 15. Oh, yeah, sorry. Say comment and if you refresh, 
there you go. Yeah, this will close. When we merge, yeah. this will close this issue. Yeah. All right. So coming back here to the cards, this will be done soon. Yeah. On the next one, we will edit items. You mean right now? <laughs> Do you want to start this? I guess I would honestly want to wait for Travis to run because we're, I am really not sure if we got everything right. Yeah, well, we can start thinking about this one while Travis yeah, is sorry, running. Yeah. And then we can start converting it to an issue and stuff. It's similar to the other one, right? It's similar to this one in some sense. We kind have, of. We have to do sort of the yeah, same task. Yeah. So I'll just come here to edit and copy this into here. And we won't have done all of this. Any of this. New button. It's actually no. a text field. Text to edit items yeah. and add JavaScript code for the text fields to do something. Yeah. We need some API endpoint, endpoint. And we also need a 404 yeah, if, if, if you're trying to edit an item that, that doesn't exist. Yeah, that doesn't. Something else? I don't know. Let's think about it, actually, because I mean, I think that the hardest part on this one may be the user interface, because if you edit the item and then you send that to the server, but meanwhile, there is another request of taking Coming a client in. that can be sort of tricky, but we'll see if it turns out to be a problem or not. OK, fair. Let's see. OK. Um, you, so Travis, oh, Travis failed. Let's see why. Failure, OK, can I go to Travis, I believe? See this in Travis? Mark, I don't see this in Travis. Travis, please, Travis. No, this is all in GitHub. Mark items is done. We run. The build failed. The build, all right. Oh, there it is. Start. Failure, build failed with an exception. What went wrong? And not resolve all classes. It huh? What? All this failed because the server didn't start. The server didn't start? I don't think so. Scroll down, see? Compile Java failed. It's not that the server didn't start, it didn't even compile. It failed in the assembly part. So, what? <laughs> what went wrong? Could not resolve all files for configuration. It appears that this is a problem that doesn't have to do with us because but this is trying to go to Apache and I mean to the repository to get dependencies and it's getting a 403. This has nothing to do it with us. It's not our fault. In fact, I can show you because I can run the same command here. Create a symbol. And if it may not work if we get same error that we are getting on Travis because there really is a problem with the server, but it appears that no, there isn't a problem. So what do you think it is? Uh, we're starting the build because I think it's something on the repository's side, which is something that happens sometimes. Yeah. I mean, we I are fetching dependencies from maybe, the Maven, yeah. not from here. From maybe it's central, right? Central, from here, yeah. We are fetching dependencies from here, and this website can be failing. Yeah, I know some people who had to run builds for like five hours last time. <laughs> because of these sorts of problems? Yeah, stuff like this. Yeah, anyway, it's so cool I think we have a clear idea of what we want to do on the added items. So do you want to start going there? I think we can leave that for the next one, yeah, right? Yeah, that's what, yeah. We have a clear idea of what we want to do. And this build will pass and we will merge it off camera unless it uh, there is a, another problem. Yeah, then if, we'll do it on. Yeah, if it fails, then we'll fix it. Yeah. All okay. right. That See you good. on the next one.